today we put the world's grumpiest sign writer under pressure to get our trailer done. Wes and Kelly settle their argument with the trailer off and Wes loses. So we, uh, we're in a mad rush at the minute taking the show trailer round to um, the building at my farm so Craig, our sign man, can sign it up. He had asked me to take two bolts out of it and make sure it was... God. All right, there. Uh, we are such idiots. You are. Well, we all are. I've still got the keys. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I'm coming. All right, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, ta ta. ta, -ta. So, as you can clearly see, Simon has stated there that he is the idiot who has still got the keys. Um, but we're in a rush because I was supposed to have took this to the farm yesterday so that Craig could do it undercover in the shed. And I never got round to doing it, and then I completely forgot. And Craig is the grumpiest old man you have ever met. So I know when we get there, I'm going to get nothing but stick for this. So I'll try and drop it off without him seeing and go. I'll leave Simon to drop the keys off. Simon will get all the stick. Be meant. Look at the miserable look on that man's face. So as Craig was completely unaware that we'd forgotten to bring the trailer and we arrived, he was uh, quite surprised when he inspected the trailer and saw how clean it was for him already. He wasn't his usual miserable self, he was actually right upbeat and proceeded to deliver a barrage of positive comments about being on time, about how clean the trailer was, about how much time we had given him to get it done ready for the show. You know, a lot of his customers are a bit lastminute.com, but us, we always give him plenty of time, so he was chuffed with that. And even when inspecting and cleaning the last bits off on the trailer, he even pointed out how it was nice to have a real simple job to do, and it wouldn't take him that long because it was such an easy job to do compared to some of his normal, more complicated works. Craig has finished sign writing the trailer for us over the weekend. Just literally hooked it up. We're on our way back into work now. And there's been an argument apparently already this morning between Wes and Kelly. Them two are doing the yam show, so they're loading up to go tomorrow. And the argument has been about who is going to tow the trailer because Kelly's argument is she has a trailer license and has towed trailers in the past and done it before. And Wes's argument is, although he has never towed a trailer in the past, he is that old, he's got grandfather rights and doesn't need to have a licence to do so. So both of them want to do it. I've suggested the easiest way to settle the argument is to have a trailer off. I'm not going to let them do it in my pickup because I'm a bit too precious about that. But we've got a pickup at work so we'll get them hooked up to it and they can settle their argument and... Whoever does the course and reverses the trailer the best in the shortest amount of time wins and therefore gets to drive with the trailer onto the show tomorrow. So we'll see how we get on. You can't be hiding, Wes. <laughs> Are we ready for the trailer off to see yes. who is going? Now, I'm going to keep it as fair as possible. We're going to. I won this uh, this pound coin a little bit earlier on, so whoever wins the coin toss gets to choose whether they go first or second. So, go on, ladies first. Thank you very much. Tails. It's heads. You always go heads. Tails, you look to yours. 
So on your words, do you want to go side. first or second? I go second. Oh, well, that means you've got to go court. It's fine. Okay. So if it all goes wrong, it could be the case, yeah. This okay. is the Let's go and knock up then. Hello, <laughs> guys. As we need to know, just leave it first if that's okay. <laughs> 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 here past the cone which represents a school ch uh, a child and then when you pull up forward you have to back between the two cones and into the space over here okay Running out everywhere. They stayed still on it, Kelly's go. Right, I've got this now. Space. What? You're supposed to back up to Jeremy without killing him. You and even if you were in the right space, you, him. you would have killed him. <laughs> ah, yeah, well, look, the trailer comes down. And in fact, we've just had to that resuscitate side, him because he died of boredom waiting <laughs> for you. Yeah, the front of the trailer's that side as well, isn't it? I thought it'd come down this side. Such an idiot. Yeah. That was pretty good, though, because I got both children. Well, you did it, yes, you did kill both children. <laughs> Jeremy died of boredom, and it took you 43 minutes. And if I flip back to Kelly's time, it's got to be close. Kelly was a foot from Clarkson, killed no children, and did it in 
47 seconds. Minute. Mm. Looks like you're driving to Yams. Well done. <laughs> oh, don't be like that. Don't be like that. It was just a bit of fun. You can't kick children. What do you mean? What? During this episode, no harm was done to any real children. So that is Lama 2023 all wrapped up. We are finished and on our way home. We've seen some old faces, we've seen some new faces. We've seen some celebrity faces as well, which has been nice. So generally, it was a very good show all in all, and I think certainly well worth going to. In the meantime, our next show will be Yams, which is in February, and you'll come and see us there. So there we go, that was Yams. and We've left Wesley, Burt and Kel on the stand to finish off the day. And we're on our way back. We've got a little site measure up to do and see a customer on the way back. So we're gonna do that now. So Kelly drove the, with the trailer on the back and I was told by both of them that they reversed it on the stand, second go, no problem whatsoever. However, I have spoke to a friend while I was over there today who informed me that he didn't get any footage, but he did see them unhook it and push it onto the stand. So I think they've told me a little porky there saying that they have reversed it on the second attempt onto the stand with no problems. So we'll have them about that in the office tomorrow. But um, for now, that's the end of episode five. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. And next episode, we're going to go and pick my desk up that I've started making, and I'll show you the footage of us making the desk, and also have a look at the big job that we started before Christmas, 
at Global Brands for Fowler & Gilbert. So uh, catch you next time. Cheers.